Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California on Sunday, 212 17. <clears throat> the book of Ezekiel 33 talks about the role of a watchman, and it's to sound the alarm. He see there's two things. He sees a sword coming, and he sounds the alarm. I see a big sword coming, and so I'm sounding the alarm. Before I begin this video, I'd like to give a shout out to all the people who've, who've showed so much love and support and prayers to my wife Gail and I uh, to continue and to stand strong and <clears throat> just the outpouring has been amazing and it's the people behind the scenes, whether it be through email or text or voicemails that have just shown love. And isn't that really what it's supposed to be about is to show love. Amen. And it's really helped my wife and I when we woke up today. Yes. Um, to just come on here and say thank you so much. It's been a couple weeks since I made a video and let you know that all is well. No flood has affected this house anywhere because it was built on the rock of Psalms 91. And we want to thank you and let you know we love you and care for you deeply. You have anything to have, my hon? I agree. Come into agreement with you. You come into agreement with yes. me? In prayer agreement? Yes. Okay. Could you do that quite often? Yes, I and, do. Thank you. I would appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, we're good here. No flood here. We pray for those in Oroville. I know a brother up there. His name's John. We pray for Brother John. I actually went there and prayed at his house and visited him. They're being affected by this Oroville dam spillway issue. But we're all safe and sound here. <clears throat> so I saw a sword coming, and I'm going to sound the alarm. Simple as that. Simple as ABC. Do you remember when the New York Post started running these articles? I can go all the way back to December 15, as you see here, about these bail arches. First, it was going to be built in London. And then I was going to go to New York, the Arch of Palmyra, they call it. I call it the, the Bail Arches. And then from there, it was supposed to go to, where, where was it supposed to go? Somewhere in the, the United Arab Emirates. I forgot now the exact location. And I believe it was kind of like an unknown location. There's been no mention of it anywhere. But the, the point I want to try to make is, is that when this article ran from the New York Post, so many people just said it's not going to happen. So many watchmen said it would. And so many other people said it wouldn't. And it did go up in London. And then it did go up in New York. And let me ask you now, well, where is it? Is it just, it, you got it, my husband? Do you, you got the arch? Or, I don't have the arch. We'd crush it if it was here. I'd go out and buy sledgehammers. Or I'd just repeat it, watch it crumble right before our house. It's not in the garage, is it? Anybody out there, you got the arch? Well, it's somewhere. The point I'm trying to make is it happened. The, the, and the, I'm citing the source as the New York Post, who I don't really uh, <clears throat> put a lot of stock in. But on this issue, it happened. There's a, there's a new article came out now yesterday from the same source declaring a whole bunch of confirming stuff of what many of us have been shown concerning Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama. And it clears up a lot of things. This article was posted on February 11, 2017 at 12.52 p.m., which is a 3.7, and we are currently in the Hebrew year of 5.7.7. Seven, three sevens. And the title is How Obama is Scheming to Sabotage Trump's Presidency. I just pray that the, the Holy Spirit of prophecy through Jesus Christ would begin to open eyes and ears so that you're not lulled to sleep or blinded, that you remain with eyes to see and ears to hear as Jesus just shouted from the heavens in, in the book of Revelation over and over and over to have eyes to see and ears to hear. I just 
I just pray this over everybody listening right now to just open your eyes. Just open your thank you, my honey. Just open your eyes and see what's right in front of your face. So <clears throat> the, the I'm gonna I'm gonna title this message Obama is not going anywhere. And I believe that this should edify, extort, not extort, exhort. No, we're not trying to exhort, extort nobody. Now I feel like I need to start over. And you know what? I'm not. I made a mistake. So edify, encourage, and exhort uh, the other watchmen and the people that they're reaching to the Holy Spirit. That When God showed them that Obama wasn't going anywhere, they heard correctly and they obeyed, obeyed God despite all the the persecution they knew would come. They said it anyway, like making this video. I know a lot of hate's going to come and a lot of love's going to come. I'm going to focus on the love. Amen? Amen. We're going to focus on the love. So there's a scheming, a plot and scheme. Ugh, hold on. That's why I like flowing on these videos because the Holy Spirit just reveals. Even now as I speak, by obeying the Holy Spirit, and this is my second attempt at this video, and I pray there isn't a third. Um, just by obeying God and coming on here and hitting record and, and sharing the alarm as I see the sword coming, the Holy Spirit is talking to us collectively. Uh, and, and I heard plot and scheme. And then I remembered, hey, look, so April 23rd, 2016, I haven't listened to it yet, but I know it's related plot and scheme watch how the holy spirit does this paris london new york united nations obama and this is exactly what i want to talk about there is a plot and scheme by obama being cited by the same people that warned about these arches and uh and it's right in the title, How Obama is Scheming. This just leads right into everything that I was just going to tell you today. So let, this article is way too long to give you all the facts and details. I will put a link to it in the description box. You can also check the comments. I will just put this article and I will pin it. So no one misses this. So it says that the... that. Former President Barack Hussein Obama is doing something that ex-presidents never do. This is a theme of his to just one of those first time ever type things has been his whole mission. So it's claiming that uh, Obama has an army of agitators numbering more than 30,000. It's actually like about 32,500. It's in the article. And let, let's just take a look at some of the snippets of... Uh, some of the things that the Holy Spirit had me warn about about a month ago. When everybody said he was going away, I said he ain't going nowhere. So one of these things says Obama will command them, uh, the, these soldiers are being called, Obama will command them from a bunker less than two miles from the White House. This has already been done. I've already shared this. I actually Google mapped directly to the neighborhood this is in. He's not going anywhere. He's creating a bunker in Washington, D.C., and he's having it fortified. He's having it fortified. And uh, unusual post-presidency. So <clears throat> Obama isn't just staying behind in Washington. Listen, people who've been mocked and attacked for believing and obeying what God showed you through the Holy Spirit. Let's go encourage you. He's working behind the scenes. To set up what will effectively be a shadow government. Now I could just end right there. But I want to tell you through this article that he's he's raising millions and millions of dollars. He's brought in his wife. He has set up a shadow government in a bunker in D.C. Two, uh, two miles from where Trump is to bring Trump down. This should be very disturbing to everybody. And sadly it's not. It's just being pushed under the rug like the bell arches were. As if... They had no significance. As if those four blood moons simply were random. This type of thing. They're doing the same thing with Obama. He's, understand, he's, he's setting up his own press secretary, his own chief of staff, and a shadow government to overthrow Trump. <laughs> Where's the people reporting this? 
And so he has a war, growing war chest. And listen to this. He had Obama and his wife have more than 250 offices across the country. Shadow government. He's not going nowhere. This was all set up. He wants to, he wants to deal with his 2012 promise of immigration, Obamacare, race relations, and climate change. And that's just the front cover of really what he wants to do. And he's involved and he's tweeting. And he's, he's, he's tweeting and giving out marching or, orders to this OFA foot soldiers, which is a, Obama's thing. And so I'm just going to read you a couple more snippets. See, I was right. It is uh, 32,500. And it's growing. They're volunteers. He set it up as a 501c4. Uh, so you don't have to disclose the donors. Soros and these people, anyone? George Soros funding this. The richest people in the world funding this to keep him in power. Or to keep him, I'll just say this properly, to keep him having power. So it's going to be aided by the Obama Foundation in a shadow White House located within two miles of Trump's. It will feature a mansion, which is fortifying with construction of a tall brick perimeter and a nearby tax funded office with his own chief of staff and press secretary. And Michelle Obama is also opening an office there along with the Obama F uh, Foundation, and he's rebuilding a shadow government. And he said, I will not go quietly into the night like other ex-presidents. This is an alarm. This is a sword. I'm sounding it. So he's referring to this website here. Notice it's Obama.org. Notice that it's the same logo on the left as when he was president, as if he's still president. This is the logo he established for his presidency of eight failed years. But here, let me ask you this. Did he really fail? Did he really fail? And if his agenda was to remove God from America and promote lawlessness and godlessness and defy all things holy, did he really fail? Let me ask you this. If, if God allows someone to have power, whether it be for to bring judgment or whether it bring to bring forth repentance. If God allows it, can it be stopped? No. If, if this is if if what the watchmen were shown about Obama's role in the end times is is right, and then it can't be stopped. And I continue being brought back to this and everybody say it and they were getting mocked and laughed and saying he's gone. He's still alive. He's building a shadow government in a fortress being funded by the richest people in the world. And he's he can have even more power now because he doesn't have to act as a president. He's a man. Do you get it? Sounding this alarm, I'm going to rewatch this video this morning and see what it was technically all about. Bunch of links in here. 53, 53rd Street, New York, New York Avenue, New York, Cleopatra's Needle Obelisk Plot and Scheme, UN Covenant, Covenant. Okay, so eyes to see and ears to hear. Obama is not going anywhere, and we stand on the fact of what we were shown. We don't know how it's all going to play out, but we've been shown who the players are. So I'm just going to tell you what the Holy Spirit showed me. Uh, about two months ago, you could take it to prayer, please. You must take it to prayer because YouTube has gone bananas. Just pray over this. Just consider the source and the, the track record and then pray over this. What, these, what Obama, through money and power and people... His agenda is to remove Trump from office. Cut and dry. Same as Hillary. You don't see her anywhere, but you do you think she just quit plotting and scheming? No, because she's a criminal. That's what she does. She's doing stuff right now. And so is her husband, Bill. You see the protest arising all over America? It's because they're well-funded. And you know who's behind all of it? 